stalls, the horses are just in the stall roaming around wherever they want and doing what they want. However, when we do these big cleanups, we put them in the cutting pen so that they are out of our way and while they get to run around, we can do our jobs without wondering and worrying where they are. So we're going to start with putting Anna in the cutting pen. So it's Yellowstone's turn um, to get his stall done. We have some bell boots for him because when he runs out in the cutting pen having turnout time, he's known for throwing shoes. And so we're hoping that this will keep him from throwing a shoe this time. Let's go get him. It's an automatic filler. Sometimes it stops working and his trough overflows into his stall. Yeah, sometimes they get stuck. They get like a little piece of hay or something in them. He too was part of the overflowing water trough. So from Casper to the rest of the stalls we do, they will most likely have less and less stuff in them because we have actually started the spring cleanup process on the stalls up to Casper. When my grandma came out to visit, we stopped doing that. And so that's why Yellowstone and Anna had so much stuff in their stalls. So from here on out, it should be less stuff in all of these stalls.
example of why we turn the horses out when they want to do a big cleaning on their stalls. Um, while Mallory was taking the wheelbarrow out, I got started on raking Chica's stall, and they always come up for affection. They want pets and loves. They're very personable horses, and so that's why it's easier if we just put them right out into the cutting pen so that we don't have this to deal with while we're trying to get the stalls cleaned up. in the outside pen. This is Chica. Come here. I do the fall cleanup for the outside pens and for the inside stalls they have inside and outside access I only muck the inside and so their fall cleanup process is a little different because we have to rent equipment and do all of that and that won't be happening today but now let's head to my trainer bleh, to my trailer for its fall cleanup so I do my best to keep my trailer very clean and so it's my best guess that I will not be traveling anywhere for a while. So I'm going to deep clean everything in my trailer and I will be taking the stuff out of my tack room that doesn't need to be in my tack room for the winter. to take out our Anna's sport boots and bell boots. The, these two chairs. Which were kind of left over from the last yeah. show. The sweatshirt. And I'm going to put that tail boot in on Anna's tail. That fly she has to come out and this has to come out. All of that was left from ORCHA. From our last ORCHA, yeah. Everything else can stay. So... Okay, so we also took out all liquids that could freeze, so we'll be taking out all of Anna's show sheen, all of that, and we'll be taking out all of the vet supplies in our first aid kit, and we'll be taking out other things that we use, like silicone spray and other leather new products and everything like that will be coming out and home with us. All right, so four hours later and Four hours and 12 wheelbarrows later, we are done with our chores, so now we can ride. That. 